All right, gang, so you just saw Nikki build the wood bin here. And you're thinking, cattle panels are pretty versatile. What else can they be used for? Well, we've been using them for years, so let's go show you some other things. And I want to say the limitation of their use is really your creativity. So I'll give you six or seven examples that we use here on the farm, and then I'm going to turn it over to you. Okay, so here's one that we actually, uh, I guess, inherited. The design or the concept was used by somebody else in the family, and then they decided they wanted to downsize the chicken, so they gave it to us. So as you can see, these are cattle panels. Again, a wood frame. These actually have a backbone in them, and they actually have a wall in them with a door that you can use. So they had a front section for feed, water, and hens laying eggs. There's a uh, trap in here you can close out. Put all the chickens out here if you're doing feed, water, and eggs. You don't have to fight a rooster. And it was made to go against something. So you can obviously put in a back wall, front door, netting. Very simple. Same concept, but you just got kind of halves and everything else. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so this again was an inherited one that we uh, brought over here. Just put it on a trailer, literally and uh, offload it with the tractor. So, it's again, it's kind of split into a third and two thirds ratio. We obviously have chickens in the front right now, but this will eventually be a turkey run because it's gonna be attached to the turkey house. So it's got a tarp on it. We've got chickens in it right now. And these are some of our meat birds that we'll uh, process later this year. But this is just another example and very simple. Screen, shred a door, go in and out. Very simple pieces. So. Let's go to another one. All right, so it's gonna kind of be a similar design. Now I'm actually standing in our garden. So you can see we've got them draped over and instead of a frame, on the bottom actually we have two kind of little beds. So in this here, um, you can do either green beans, something that wants a, a vine or a trellis like green beans or something like that. You can put them in there, have them attached there. And even just like ivy or anything else, it will grow and follow itself up and over making a really nice arbor so you could use maybe one cattle panel, a half cattle panel, put that up over. You can make it into an arbor, let ivy grow, make it a, a great entrance to a garden, uh, anything else you want. Really a lot of choices there, so be creative. All right, so again, you can see just another example of just a similar design. On this one here, uh, there's no arch in between. Obviously we have a front and a back on. And you can see right here, this is a door that we actually go in and feed chickens. So inside of this, we have uh, full-grown turkeys, ducks, and chickens all living together in here. So these are all going to be meat for this year. So pretty simple concept. Uh, you just got your hangers, your feeders in there, put a water in the ground and a nest box, and you can raise poultry. Simple as that. All right, so. We're talking about how great these things are to use, how easy they are to build and that. But I will say there are going to be limitations. So here's some limitations. If you live in a windy area and you don't stake these things down, they can become parachutes. So as you can see, this one has uh, kind of put the big one on that one. So we got a nice strong wind. It actually caught and picked it up and flipped it over, let our turkeys out, which was exciting to catch. But you can see the wood had, uh, it's, it's broken into pieces. It was a similar thing, back on it, front door. But if you're gonna be in a high wind area, stake them to the ground. Get some, get some good stakes, put them in the ground, and uh, make sure that otherwise they will become parachutes at that point. Or they can be moved. They, they're called a mobile house for a reason because they can take flight or roll away. All right, so obviously we use a lot for chickens, poultry, wood, all stuff. Here's some other things you can do. Obviously, we've got goats contained in the barn temporarily while we build in that, so you can use these for real, actually, livestock panels like they're designed for. This actually is something we put in the back of our truck, full-size truck, and it's just basically a four-sided cattle panel cut down, obviously, for height, and then we just use uh, clasps to keep a puppy in, like this one. So we actually keep her uh, contained up while she's getting used to the goats while she's growing up. And then we have one more use other than that, and it's the big one. All right, so here's the big one, the one that nobody ever believes you can do with cattle panels. We built a barn. So if you see behind me, this thing has made it almost three years. This is the first structure we actually put up here when we move out to Oregon. 
So it is actually uh, four cattle panels on each side. You can see it's got a, a backbone frame inside. Stressed all together, they're tied up together, and then literally like everything else, you put a tarp over it. You obviously buy a big tarp, and the tarps really, between everything, will last you one season. If you can get one better than that, congrats. We get one season out of it, but it's well worth it. So we've obviously had llamas, dogs, goats all in here. We built up four separate panels. So you've obviously got doors like this into each section, each quarter of it. And this thing served us for three years, so it's about to come down. We've obviously got our other barns in if you followed our Instagram or if you've seen anything else. We've got our barns up, we've got our hay put away. And this right now is going to be taken down and repurposed, so we're going to use all the cattle panels for more stuff. And it's been fantastic. Really not a huge investment, but it's a huge value for what you get out of it and what you can do with it. So that's really it. You've seen all that we use our cattle panels for. You've obviously heard we are containing goats and they're not happy about it, but that's it. So follow us on Instagram, check us out. We're gonna put up a lot more videos of us making stuff, using stuff, and how we do things and live in the homestead lifestyle. And remember, it's a lifestyle, it's not a destination. We'll see you next time.